Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 8th of 2020, well it is titled Country Sky versus City Sky. So what do we see here? Well, this is a set of images, in fact, six different images taken in different parts of Slovakia. So all in the same country, and we're looking at various different areas and looking at how bright the night sky is. So what you're able to, be, to see uh, at that point. And you can see that they're taken towards the left. The city sky, you can see essentially nothing when you take it with the same exposures and other, uh, all other details being exactly the same. So the equipment was the same. Uh, exposures and everything else would have been exactly the same. And on the left, in the city, you're not able to see anything. In the bright suburban sky, you're able to see some stars, but not a whole lot. And as you progress through the suburbs and into the rural areas, and then finally out to the dark sky site, you're able to see far more. So as we pollute the sky with light, then it brightens the sky and makes it a lot harder to see astronomical objects. So one of the problems is that a lot of light is not directed where we need it. So we want light directed down so that we can see uh, here on Earth. But of course, a lot of light is just uh, sent up into the sky and brightens the night sky. So if you've ever gone to a larger city and looked up at night, you've noticed that you can hardly see anything. Only the very brightest objects will be visible. And if you've gone out camping or out to a very dark rural site, you notice that you can see things like the Milky Way and other objects very easily. So it really depends on how much the sky has been brightened it will affect what the limiting brightness that you're able to see, or as listed at the bottom here, the limiting magnitude that you're able to see. On the left side, you're only going to see the brightest stars, and on the right, you're going to see very, very faint objects. And in fact, you would be able to see at the very darkest sites, you'd actually be able to see uh, things like uh, some of the globular clusters would be visible to the naked eye. So you'd be able to actually see things that it's become far too bright in the city areas uh, to be able to actually see. So objects that we get, we've, we are used to not being able to see are actually visible even without a telescope. Uh, that we can see at a very, very dark site. And the other thing to remember is that for most people, uh, where most, pe most of the people live, is going to be the brighter areas here. Of course, people are concentrated in the cities and the suburban regions around the cities, and that is going to uh, mean that they're used to much brighter skies and don't get the very dark skies that uh, people were used to just a couple of hundred years ago. It has not been all that long. If you think electric lights are only, you know, what, a little over 100 years old? So it was things were not all that bright that long ago. And you had darker skies all over the place at night because there wasn't near as much light as we have today. So most people are far more used to seeing what we see on the left and not the beautiful astronomical sights that we can get off on the right-hand side of this image. So that was our picture of the day for April the 8th of 2020. It was titled Country Sky versus City Sky. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.